Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us watch this unedited real-time FECO surgery. You can see this is a cataract with grade 3 plus or grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at mid limbus. And now, the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Methyl cellulose is applied over the cornea for better visibility. And now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Now capsulorexis is done with the help of uh, uterata forceps. The tip of the uterator raises a capsular tag. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size to axis of about 5.5 millimeter. And now hydrodissection. Hydrodissection is done with BSS and 27 gauze cannula. Small amount of fluid is injected at multiple points, the nucleus is rotated, the antechamber is again filled up with visco and now the tip of the FECO needle is introduced into the anterior chamber. The FECO needle goes bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated and now watch submarine job. The handpiece is turned to make the bevel up, the nucleus is pushed little down and the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision. It goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator, chopper is used to divide the nucleus into two halves. The nucleus is then rotated 180 degree and the nucleus is completely separated into heminuclei. Now each heminuclease is subdivided into two large fragments. And thus we get four large nuclear fragments. Each nuclear fragment is tilted and emulsification is started from the apex. We can see that the nucleus is quite hard. Ultrasonic energy being used is 75 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the third nuclear fragment being emulsified. And now this is the last one. As we emulsify the last piece, the vacuum is reduced to 300 and flow rate 30. And ultrasonic energy is also reduced to about 70 percent. There is a nuclear piece at the side port. We have to remove that. Inje visco is injected and this nuclear piece is to be removed. A Simco cannula is used to guide it out. And now the Simco cannula is being used to remove the cortex. First, I removed the subincisional cortex. Now I go through the side port to remove the cortex from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock. So, cortical cleanup is good. And now, 
the entire chamber and the capsular bag is filled up with 2% SPMC. In this case, I am going to use a B cartridge. So, the main wound is enlarged to about 3 millimeter. It was 2.8, it is enlarged by 0 0.2 and it becomes about 3 millimeter. And now, uh, hydrophobic acrylic single piece aspheric intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. The lens is placed in the capsular bag in such a way that the haptics are little away from the main wound. The idea is to go behind the nuclear, behind the intraocular lens and remove the visco from the capsular bag. Now, cortical visco cleaning is being done. Bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli are being used for visco cleaning. Thorough cleaning of Visco is very important. Otherwise, the intraocular pressure may be raised and the patient will have steamy corneal edema. Nice cleaning of visco. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is closed now by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this wound and a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. The anterior chamber is nicely formed integrity of the wounds eject and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.